imagine you're on a vacation with your family and you decide to go out into the middle of the woods during the daytime to take a hike for yourself. You notice the lovely greens and browns and earthy tones of the forest as the sunlight is pouring through the treetops and suddenly you hear something. What's that? You look off in the distance and you notice that there's someone there. And upon closer look, it's you. Who the fuck are you? What would you do? Boo. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of Parallel, which is a remake of an earlier film called Parallel Forest that was a Chinese film about the same subject matter. This is by director Karash Ahari, who has done a couple of other films that I haven't seen, including one called Generations. We also have a really good cast, too, because we get Aldous Hodge, who did Black Adam, and he also was in The Invisible Man. We also get Edwin Hodge, which I'm assuming is his brother, uh, from the original Purge. He was the, the bloody stranger that comes in the house. And we get Danielle Deadweiler, who was in the Watchmen TV show and a bunch of other stuff recently. So what did I think of this movie? To be clear, I have not seen Parallel Forest from 2019. You may want to check that out first before watching this. I don't know. It's a Chinese film, so they were taking it and remaking it here for the U.S. But I can only tell you what I think about this movie that just came out this year. The story is essentially about a woman who is going through some grief because of the loss of one of their kids. She and her husband are on vacation with his brother and they are sort of, you know, going through it and trying to work things out. And she's really having a hard time of it. Kind of wants to be distant, wants to stay away from everybody, going on hikes alone. And one day while she's out there, she discovers another person and it's her. And suddenly she's faced with having to move between parallel dimensions. I love stories about parallel dimensions, especially when they put them into a more suspenseful thriller or horror situation where things run amok because it always kind of just adds to that extra element of mystery and unsettling. There's something very, very unsettling about being in a parallel dimension that you do not belong to. Everything may be exactly the same, but one or two things are changed. Maybe something in your past never happened before. Maybe you never met your husband and you never went on vacation. Nothing exists. Who knows? Infinite possibilities of all these different choices we've made in our entire lives. And this movie does sort of play with that only through the sort of grieving mother who is trying to find her child to get him back. Just how people can change with minor, tiny things that change. Something that, that unsettles them might make them go in a darker direction, or something tough might make them go in a positive direction. Or maybe they become a doctor. There's just a ton of different things that you could think about. And this is a really high concept idea for a lot of indie features. And I think it can be well done. It is a little overdone sometimes, but you know, I love like watching them regardless and seeing how they sort of pan out. Now, this one wasn't like super original or anything, but the acting was fairly decent and I really actually enjoyed their performances in here. I actually felt the pain and anguish from Daniel Deadweiler's performance and, you know, sort of the frustration of her husband and everything that he had to deal with. Very likable characters, too. Like, I instantly just kind of felt like I fit into them. But again, the story elements really didn't do anything extremely new that made me super interested in this movie. I have uh, been a fan of a movie called Coherence, which is another sci-fi fiction sort of thriller horror movie that is about a dinner party where the 
exact same thing happens and something somebody comes a knocking at their door and suddenly the whole world is torn apart and people are thrown into different parallel dimensions this one doesn't explore as much as something like that movie coherence but i still sort of enjoyed watching it because of the performances and because of some of the turns and twists that they took in this movie it felt a little different than i was used to and the setting of the forest really kind of adds to some of the atmosphere that was in this there was a moment or two that i was kind of a little iffy about but you know these things happen it's a parallel dimension for christ's sake you can do whatever the hell you want the music was really good it was well shot lighting and you know the performances and everything are all spot on it's just not a story that's going to blow you away but it is going to be very solid in its attempt to do this and it's not a bad watch if you're looking for something along those lines in fact i think this and coherence would make a pretty decent pair but i would have to give the crown to coherence there are only three characters in this story so i feel like they could have pushed the boundaries a little bit further with some of the things that were going on I do like some of the ideas that they put in there and the situations. There is a sort of love angle in this one that I haven't seen in the other movies that try to play with this sort of material. But even if it's not 100% brand new and unique, it's still, like I said, a fun ride. And I think that you'll enjoy it enough to warrant at least a watch out of it. I would say about a 6.5, maybe a 7. I enjoyed my time. I was just hoping for a little bit more, but I really do appreciate what they did here and how it was made. So I think it might be worth checking out, at least for you. And if you like this, hell, I can suggest a hell of a lot more films that will do just this and if not more i would like to see the original i wonder how different they are i wish i could have seen it first or known that it let me know right in the beginning of the movie that this was a remake of that film and i was like oh well shit should i even watch this you know so but i did anyway and i'm glad i did not a bad watch if you're looking for something a little sci-fi thriller for you to watch with a little bit of a twist of some horror i think it fits into our niche of stuff that we kind of like even if it's not vampires werewolves or something supernatural but what do you think do you like stories like this that do parallels have you seen this movie before did you see the original movie that it's based off of the chinese film have you seen coherence i would love to hear what you think about any of these films in the comment section down below and if you're looking for more let me know maybe i'll do a whole top five thrillers sci-fi or something like that but uh thanks for coming by and as always long live the void, void.